Hey folks, uh, today I'm just doing a little bit of a walk around on uh, one of the CFA red plated FCVs uh, that's been built. So it's on a uh, Ford Ranger XLT 3.2 litre automatic. Uh, it's been built by Quick Corp. So I'll just uh, have a bit of a walk around and we can have a bit of a look through the lockers and some of the features of the machine. So the body uh, is one of the lightest possible designs uh, to still incorporate some strength. Uh, it's a pod design so that um, it will allow uh, an easy changeover of the cab chassis. Obviously it's brand new so it's not fitted out with any gear yet. So the tray at the back here incorporates a battle board or control board. Um, slide out container just to put some storage in. Uh, the radio hand pieces can be moved from the front to the back. They're not supplied but uh, they're fairly easy to unclip and just move to the back when, you, uh, when you're carrying out some command and control. So the fridge is on a slide and tilt just to enable you to uh, get to the water a little bit easier. So this is going to be a standard design across all FCVs going forward and uh, from CFA build. So it's a keyless design with a push button start. Uh, the cabin's very well laid out. Uh, siren controller there above the radio panel which operates with the ignition. So you notice the green light near the number plate, that's the same front and rear when the emergency lights are on. Uh, it's a bit of a feature that uh, emergency services are going now just to um, show that it is in uh, responding to an emergency with that green light. So in the near side uh, underbody locker there's a second battery and an inverter. So the body's got a magnetic plug uh, for a power source that can keep the fridge cool while it's stationary in the station. The vehicle comes with a genuine Ford bull bar and genuine Ford light bar just to ensure the occupant's safety. A rear seat with a portable charger and map light and some power outlets. It comes with the UHF and the radio controls which we haven't fitted yet 